What is going on everybody and today we have another episode of the Thursday questions on the Apple Fox channel and this is actually the premiere episode in this brand new year but anyways but the question for today's video is what does the emergency button do on Apple Watch? So yeah this is what I want to talk about perhaps you have heard about this feature before or maybe you know that it is present on your Apple Watch but you're afraid that you will accidentally click it anyways I will try to explain it in today's video let's begin right now it is actually very simple you just have to hold down to this side button on the Apple watch and right now as you can see I have two options I have an option to turn it off like to power off or emergency SOS I will of course not click and slide the emergency thing but what this feature actually does is that it will contact and alert local security and emergency services so yeah, it of course depends on the place and the country where you live, it may differ across the world, but overall it is the same principle. For example, according to Apple's description, in China it is actually a little bit different because after going to the emergency mode, you have to even choose what kind of emergency you want to call. Of course, in order for this feature to work, you need to be nearby your iPhone in case you are using this older generation of Apple Watch, in case you don't have the cellular version, you're obviously not able to make phone call with this. I mean, but in case you're using of course the cellular Apple Watch then you shouldn't really have a problem with this. By the way, if this is your first time here on this channel and in case you don't want to miss the future uploads, in case you don't want to miss some interesting videos, then smash the subscribe button right now and you will make sure that you won't miss it. A great feature that is definitely connected with this emergency SOS is that if you hold and keep holding, even though right now I already lifted my finger up, but if I would keep holding it would call immediately the emergency services but this is a setting that you can keep track of and you can actually modify it in the watch app on your iPhone so you can see we have these options and right now if I, I uncheck this it means that if I will keep holding on the side button on the Apple watch it will not call anything until I swipe so it doesn't mean that you're not having this feature anymore but take a look at this right now if I hold down to the side button let me hit cancel and right now if I hold down to the side button you can see that I still have the emergency SOS feature and the slider but I still have to slide it if I if now I would keep holding on the side button it wouldn't call anyone one thing that I also forgot to mention is in case you accidentally hold down to this button and you have the feature turned on and or if you even slide the slider nothing happened yet you still have to wait until the countdown ends and while the countdown is actually happening you can hear some really loud noises informing you that something really serious is happening so it's not like you just swipe on the slider and you're in, you're instantly calling the police or whatever hopefully you will never ever need to use this feature but in case and after the phone call actually ends the Apple Watch will automatically send a text message to your medical ID contacts or your emergency contacts if you want those people will receive a text message from you informing them about your current location Apple also says that if you have turned off the location services if you don't allow your apps to use your location this feature is going to be turned off for a moment meaning that those people will definitely see your location and it's also really great because if you change your location the people will also receive updated message so yeah it's pretty useful Apple has really thought about it if you also want to have some emergency contacts that will be informed if you for example do something then you have to set up your medical ID but for this you need to head over to your iPhone and open up the health app it is kind of a mess but you have to set it up this way so right now you can see that I am inside the app and on the bottom you can see we have the medical ID I don't have it set up but you have to go through this you have to create your medical ID and there you will be able to add some emergency contacts of course you type in their number and those people will be informed in case something happens but hopefully nothing will ever happen to you so this is perhaps everything what I can say about this I really hope you found this video informative and useful and if you liked it if you want to see more content like this if you want to see some best apps for your Apple Watch Watch, stuff like that that I think you would find useful then hit the subscribe button right now and make sure we see each other in the next videos have a nice day and I wish you all the best peace out guys